the fast pitch chat show listen up if you want to know tips from expert guests and pros a whole lot of info on everything softball the fast pitch chat show sponsored by softballjunk.com hi everybody this is rob cruz with complete game this is fast pitch tv and today's question is what are some good ideas to help young hitters understand the importance of tee work and hitting off the tee. Well, first of all, um, I hit, I'm a seasonal type of training person. Um, where I primarily teach out of is the Northeast, and we have the season. So you got like in season, off season, and then you also have preseason. And what I like to do is I like to do a lot more tee work in the off season, a little bit less tee work preseason, and a little bit less tee work in season. And that's, that's, that's just a generalization of how I like to do tee work, but, but then there's also specific instances where you have players who just need more work. They just need more, they need more work. And sometimes you don't always have someone to throw you live VP or someone to give you front toss. And sometimes you don't want to be on the machine. You just want to kind of get some meditation in, understand what's going on with the movements and the rhythm of how your body moves. And I, I feel like a lot of times people skimp on tee work because it's not exciting it's pretty much boring uh, it's just really nothing that, that I'm gonna get excited about about being on a team um, and most young people just don't they need something that's more exciting and it's more exciting when I'm around people and it's like four or five people hitting and taking bad practice versus just me by myself and kind of getting that quality time with myself and understanding how my body likes to move I feel like the biggest three things I get that I get the most out of working with players on a team it's getting them to understand the timing of their body. I like to call it body timing um, because now we don't have a pitch pitching, but we can time what our body does and we can time the movement of our, of our body. So what happens is we like to we'll take that, uh, that load and we'll go back before we go forward and we can do different things on the team. We can say, well, I'm going to go back for a fastball. I'm going to go back and I'm going to land and swing. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to go back for a change. I'm going to land, pause, and swing. So I can work on the different timings of when I when I take my load or I'll take my stride or whatever you like to call it, and then going into the swing. And another thing we can do is we can work on putting the tee in different spots. Sometimes you have hitters who just don't quite understand when they're hitting an outside pitch, what's the proper spot for that ball to be in for me to actually drive it effectively in the terms of hitting that outside pitch in the right location. Because sometimes they'll hit an outside pitch too early and they'll roll over or they'll hit it too deep and they'll make them late. But sometimes when you have when you have tee work, a player can put the tee in the right spot and kind of train the hands to kind of get to that area on the right angle and on the right swing plane. And it's the same thing with the inside pitch. Sometimes hitters will let that inside pitch get too deep or they're hit, hitting that inside pitch maybe out front and they're getting around it and they're not getting the right spin. Speaking of spin, the third thing that I feel like is really important on the tee work is, is helping hitters understand how to create that good back spin. With, with good outward force and being able to see the results of the spin. So tee work out on the field from home plate becomes effective because now I can hit it and the ball can travel further and I can get a sense of, okay, am I hitting a ball that's hooking foul? Am I hitting a ball opposite field that's tailing towards the towards that, that fielder? So in other words, if I'm lefty and I'm hitting a ball in the left field, is my ball tailing back to the left fielder or is my ball does my ball have continuous backspin into that left center field gap? So those are, those are a couple of things that I like to do on the team that make tee work effective. Obviously, everyone's different. However, I feel like tee work is something that people have their different views on it. And I feel like if whatever's working for you, do it. <laughs> it works for me. I'm going to continue to do it. Um, but but there, there are a lot of advantages that players can have depending on the team where they can improve. I feel like it's more of a form of med meditation um, than anything else and kind of getting hitters to understand what they personally need to be, to be doing. And sometimes that can be before practice or even after practice. But nevertheless, it's really up to you as a head coach and how you wanna how you wanna get those kids involved and how you wanna get those T's involved in your, in your batting practices. My name is Rob Cruz with Complete Game and this is Fast Pitch TV. Do you need a softball bat? Do you wanna save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-stale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham! You just put a cool $30 in your pocket.
This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.